Yes, please come. Good afternoon. Please sit down. Miss Jen, are you working anywhere? No, sir. No? And you finished in 2015. So, after that, 2016, you were an intern. 17, you were an MA. So, you completed your MA. Yes. And after that, I presume you have taken the exam. Yes. So, why do you wish to join the civil service? So, my inclination, uh, when I started thinking about what I wanted to do in life, I was uh, very much interested in public services. And uh, I realized that uh, this is the biggest platform for public services in the country. Apart from that, sir, since my father is an IPS officer, so I had a lot of familiarity with the services, uh, which also helped me in my decision. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So what qualities do you possess, which will make you a good civil servant? So, uh, first, I would say empathy. Uh, I believe that I'm an empathetic person and it's a good, important quality for a civil servant. Uh, so, analytical skills, uh, which will, I'm sure, help me in decision making. <coughs> and uh, apart from that, sir, I think optimism would also be one. Right. You're from Tamil Nadu? No, sir. You were born there? Yes, sir. I see. And where do you live now? So currently I am in, after after starting my undergrad, I, after that I have been in Delhi. In Delhi mostly. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. What is the ambit of Article 19.1a, freedom of speech and expression? So, uh, it gives freedom of speech and expression as a fundamental right uh, to all the citizens of the country. And uh, so this extends to press freedom also, and uh, also freedom in uh, freedom of expression in art, literature, movies, etc. Uh, but sir, at the same time, we have reasonable restrictions on the basis of uh, things like morality, public order, uh, relations with the foreign nations, and uh, other clauses, sir. How do we regulate speech on the social uh, media? So. Uh, what we currently do is, sir, we collaborate with platforms like Twitter and Facebook, etc. So, if there is any content which is uh, unconstitutional or against the provision of the IT Act 2000, then, sir, uh, they take it down. Apart from that, sir, we don't regulate uh, in terms of the government doesn't directly monitor what kind of content is there on the social media. As far as press is concerned, is there regulation for the press? So, uh, there is some regulation that is, uh, we have uh, the press trust of india i believe press so council. the press, press council trust of india agency. yes sir, press council of india <coughs> for the uh, written journalism and uh, so uh, we don't have a government body uh, for the television media but the, there are self regulatory organize there is a self regulatory organization okay what is rule of law so rule of law means that uh, the law of the land applies to everybody uh, in the nation equally, irrespective of uh, the background of that person. Okay, there was this uh, Me Too movement some time back. Yes, sir. Do you think it was a failure of our uh, laws? Uh, why did people not invoke the regular process of law and went to the social media? So, uh, so yes, to some extent, there was a failure of implementation of laws because uh, it uh, <coughs> these laws were unable to make people uh, feel safe enough or make people uh, feel that uh, people did not feel that law was so accessible that they could uh, complain to the law directly. Apart from that, sir, uh, Me Too movement has been a lot about just expressing that there is self uh, sexual harassment in the society. Rather than particular cases, they have also been there, and in those cases, so many people have also taken the course of the law along with the Me Too campaign on the social media. Can you uh, list some of the laws uh, targeted against crime uh, uh, against women? Uh, so there is the Sexual Harassment at Workplace Act 2013. Uh, there is uh, the there is an Act for Domestic Violence Abolition Act. 
and there is a act against dowry there is an act for child prohibition of child marriage also sir so uh, under pocso which is uh, we have special provisions for uh, sexual harassment of girl child so <coughs> so these are the acts that are what are the safeguards in the sexual harassment uh, at workplace act what is the mechanism so according to the act every organization has must have an internal complaints committee uh, to which if a woman uh, feels uh, i mean if a woman has a complaint of sexual harassment they can directly complain to that committee uh, so apart from that uh, under the act or every organization must also uh, regularly uh, create awareness campaigns against sexual harassment and uh, include it in their training as well uh, and so so that is there is a provision for penalty as well yes sir okay against the employer and whatever visitors to that office are they covered and that is women visitors to uh, an office are they covered under that uh, MB, uh, within the jurisdiction of that committee <coughs> internal committee so i am not okay. aware of this okay. exact some, uh, can you uh, tell us about there were some changes in law post nirbhaya and then nirbhaya incident you know <coughs> Yes, sir. Can are you aware of some of the changes that were um, brought about in law? So uh, a Nirbhaya fund was created, out of which there are many schemes which are operating, including the uh, Sakhi scheme, uh, which is basically women uh, centers where women can uh, go for support, legal support, medical support, etc. So apart from that, uh, the laws against rape have become more stringent. Uh, one is that sir even in juvenile uh, cases of juvenile involvement of a juvenile in sexual harassment the age of 16 in cases will be taken sir okay. Okay. what do, uh, when we say it, there is a right against self incrimination what do we mean by this so it means that uh, a person will not be forced to become a witness against himself or herself Okay. okay, thank you. You've written your hobbies as writing. Yes. What was the last article you wrote on? Ma'am, uh, I wrote a poem last. You wrote a poem. Yes, ma'am. So you have had your poems or your articles published? Ma'am, I had two short stories published in the annual college magazine of Banana House, mm -hmm. and uh, apart from that, ma'am, sometimes I upload uh, my work on my blog. Okay. So it is informal publishing. You have a blog. Yes, ma'am. Now, painting is also a hobby. What medium do you use? Ma'am, uh, watercolor and oil paint. You put up some exhibitions. No, ma'am. Uh, only in school and college. And jogging. How does it benefit you? Ma'am, it helps me keep fit. It uh, helps me keep my focus. And uh, I think, ma'am, it uh, it it keeps me happy throughout the day. Good. Now you also. Uh, Uh, conducted or worked as an intern for two months. Yes, ma'am. What was the work you did there? Ma'am, uh, we worked on Nalanda University website. Mm -hmm. uh, so we curated the content there and how it appears on uh, links that are posted on Facebook and other social media. We also made the students' handbook for that particular year, and uh, we would uh, interact with the international students uh, who wanted to join Nalanda University. So Nalanda University is only for the post graduation studies or even for undergrads. Ma'am, it is only a post grad. Mm -hmm. Post and residential. <coughs> oh yes, ma'am, it is residential. All right. Now, since you've uh, studied in Delhi and lived in Delhi for a long time, we have a number of problems related to Delhi. One of them is pollution. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me why Delhi is becoming such a polluted city, especially where air pollution is concerned? Ma'am, from what I have read from multiple sources, vehicular air pollution constitutes more than forty percent of the air pollution in Delhi. Mm -hmm. So, ma'am, the uh, number of vehicles in Delhi are too high, and even though we have a good uh, public infrastructure, it is not enough to cater to the demand. Other than uh, uh, vehicles, what? Ma'am, uh, the <coughs> issue of stubble burning in neighboring states, uh, like Western UP, Punjab, and Haryana. Uh, apart from that, ma'am, construction activities create a lot of dust and particulate matter. Uh, brick kilns, thermal power plants. And, uh, ma and the road dust. And the road dust. So yes, what did we do to address these problems? Ma'am, uh, firstly, uh, I think that uh, in the long term we should focus on transit-oriented uh, expansion of the city. Do we have any body which looks into pollution? 
Ma'am, recently a body was created. I am a little bit. Green tribunal. Have you heard of that? Yes, ma'am. That's what a tradition. The, what does the NGT do? Ma'am, the NGT uh, is a it's a tribunal uh, which has a judicial and a non-judicial member, and uh, they take up directly all those cases which are related to environment. So, what have they advised? Ma'am, so they what directions have they given? Ma'am, they banned the uh, incoming uh, diesel vehicles in uh, into Delhi. There was a ban on firecrackers as well. During the peak uh, uh, peak time of pollution in winter, uh, they also uh, asked they asked the Delhi government to take uh, certain measures. And um, one more, just ma'am, can I? What about the diesel vehicles? Private diesel vehicles? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Van of the vehicles which are not in ten years old. Yes, ma'am. Uh, that was also done by the NGT. All right. What do you think should be done to bring down pollution levels? Can you think of any practical solution? Which you, as a student or a resident of Delhi, can do, ma'am. There are uh, giant air purifiers which are being employed by China. Ma'am, you bring it in as a student. I use the word as a, as student. a student. What can you do? I'm sorry, ma'am. I okay. misunderstood the right. question. Ma'am, as a student in my personal life, I can, uh, ma'am. There would be small steps like conserving as much electricity yes. as possible. Okay. What and else? Apart from that, ma'am, uh, in front of wherever I live, uh, we can take water sprinkling measures so mm -hmm. that there is dust okay. control. Uh, for personal health, ma'am, I would advise people to to use uh, air masks uh, during the peak hours of pollution. And uh, ma'am, general awareness creation, I think, as a student, can be an important. Right. Now, again, mm -hmm. Delhi is not a safe city, especially for women. What steps would you suggest to make Delhi a safer place? Ma'am, can I take a moment? Yes, yes. You've studied in yes, Miranda, so you would be aware of the problems yes, in and around your college. So tell me. Uh, Ma'am, uh, should I first say the steps of the board? Yes, first the steps that you would suggest. Ma'am, uh, firstly, uh, there needs to be awareness generation on mass level in Delhi. Because it is the attitude of the society so which creates the problem. We must start from the school level. Yes, ma'am. All right. Next, uh, ma'am. Apart from that, uh, there needs to be better. Uh, I mean, more police monitoring, okay. more police vehicles, uh, especially at night and in sensitive areas. All right. Uh, women helpline has been introduced in Uttar Pradesh, okay. so ma'am, that can be a good yes. initiative. Uh, Lighting of streets. Yes, ma'am. CCTV cameras. CCTV cameras. Lighting of streets. Yeah, and you've yourself done uh, Taekwondo, so we uh, teach women to look yes, after their own safety. Ma'am, Delhi Police has a program <coughs> to teach martial arts to women. All right, thank you. Ms. Jain, have you heard of the Right to Information Act? Yes, sir. Now, what are the what were the objectives, primary objectives of uh, this act? So the primary objectives were to make the government uh, more transparent and accountable, right. so that uh, uh, people and be, and to make it more accessible also, so that people could ask questions and get answers. Uh, to right. them. Right. Now tell me, have you ever used the uh, RTA? Or no, sir. No. I haven't. Now, when a person seeks information from the government department, uh, can the government department withhold some information? Yes, sir. On certain grounds, the government can. Such as? Uh, national security. Mm -hmm. There are eight There are eight grounds. Relations with foreign nations also is one of them. That is there plus personal information, which is uh, yes, which does not have a larger public interest. There are many yes, yes. Yeah. Now, uh, apart from this, uh, does the Act provide exemption to certain government organizations? Complete exemption in the purview of the Act. So, uh, whether I'm not sure if the act would provide this, but for example, judiciary is not within the copy of the RTI. Uh, government organizations, uh, I'm no. not sure. Well, judiciary is, uh, they, they deny most of the issues, but if you recall, the Allahabad High Court used to charge 500 rupees for a RTI application. And the Supreme Court had recently given a direction saying that you cannot charge more than 50 rupees. Yes. Sir. So you, RTIs have been filed. It's a different matter than on many issues they do not uh, give a response. Right? Yes. Sir. Now, uh, the Central Information Commission. Uh, what is the role of that? Sir, it takes the appeals of all, all the people uh, who file to it 
who have been denied information in the RDI. And uh, it no, it's, a, it's a appellate uh, body, primary. It also works proactively in awareness generation about the RDI and other right. Now, is there any linkage between the Central Information Commission and the State Information Commission? Yes, uh, uh, the Central Information Commission operates at the national level, State Information at the state level. Yes. And, uh, That's it. That yes. is the thing. I mean, there is no subordination of the yes, sir, SIC is. to the CIC. Yes. Central Information Commission looks after the Central Government Department. Yes. The State Information Commission looks after the State Government Department. Right? Yes. Now, uh, can a Supreme Court judge be removed? Yes, sir. Uh, are there any grounds laid down in the Constitution? Sir, there are two grounds, hmm. proof misbehavior and incapacity. incapacity. What is the procedure which was established? Sir, a bill can, uh, has to be introduced. Motion, either motion. A motion oh. has to be introduced yeah. uh, in the Lok Sabha or the Rajya Sabha. In yeah. the Lok Sabha with uh, 100 people's uh, signatures and in the Rajya Sabha by, with 50 people's. Mm -hmm. And uh, sir, after that there is a, a committee is created of three members which goes into the allegations. Uh, that particular committee uh, consists of a jurist member, uh, the Chief Justice of India, he is not implicated. And uh, so I cannot remember there is one more member. A, 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 a sitting uh, Chief Justice of a state. State High Court. Yes, sir. And after, if the uh, committee proves the charges, then the House passes a resolution. Uh, and if the resolution is passed by a special majority, then. Then, then he stands. Have you heard of the Malabar naval exercise? Yes, sir. What is that? Sir, it is a theatre level uh, trilateral exercise uh, in which uh, India, Japan, and USA participate. Right. There is something else called the Milan uh, naval exercise. What is that? Sir, can I take a yeah, sure. moment? Sir, sir, can I make a guess? I am not sure about yes, this. Sure, sir, is it with France? Oh. No, Milan is a, it's a much larger uh, the Indian Ocean region uh, countries. Yes, sir. And that is held biennially, that is twice in a year. Yes, and it is held in, by under the Andaman and Naval Command. Like in June last year, there were 16 countries which participated. But the Maldives backed out at the last point because of the changes the government has done. So they are two different exercises. Eh? Yes, sir. And now, uh, Kulbhushan Jadar, who was arrested by Pakistan, what prompted India to uh, appeal uh, in the International Court of Justice? Sir, Kulbhushan uh, Chadha uh, was not given the, uh, the Indian consul was not given access to him mm. and he was be being denied some basic rights under the law and he was sentenced to death. So that all these have, three... That should have come first, he was sentenced to death Yes. Sir. and because of that we had to move the agents. So what has happened there now? Is the trial over? No, sir, it is uh, still underway. Yeah, in fact, it is to be held uh, in fact, today, tomorrow, the yes. next couple of days for a final decision. Okay, thank you. Do you know the good governance concept? Yes, sir. World Bank gave it. Yes. What sir. are the ingredients of it? So, the proactiveness, responsiveness, uh, accountability, transparency. Uh, sir, I cannot remember all the components of it right now. You know the basic structure concept? Yes, sir. As propounded in the Keshwan and Bharti case? Yes, sir. Name some very important basic features of the constitution which cannot be touched. Or touched. So, secularism? You think secularism is as important? There are others. More important than securities. So, far more, far greater importance. So, federalism, federalism, federal the structure, federal structure of the <coughs> Indian polity. Very good. What else? So, uh, so there are many others. I identify <coughs> only the most important ones. So, can I take a moment? Yes. So, some of the fundamental rights uh, are part of the basic structure. Which ones? So, right to life and uh, liberty. So, what is the article? 21, sir. Very good. What else? 
So, uh, freedom of speech and expression is also part of it, but with restrictions. Yes, in a way. Yeah. Article 19, entire Article yes. 19 is part of it. Yes. Yes. And last, which is one more article, one more fundamental right. Equality. Yes. Very good. Article 14, article. 19, 21, these are part of it. Yes. But there are still some more important features which we've left out. <coughs> All right, I'll help you. Yes. Separation of powers. Yes. Independence of judiciary. Yes. Now, our constitution is a combination of rigidity and flexibility. Where does the rigidity lie? <coughs> so, rigidity can be seen in the uh, basic structure itself that uh, we don't what, compromise with the what, basic agreed. structure. What else? There is one more source of rigidity. So uh, we have a single, uh, we have a constitution, written constitution that gives rigidity to the union. Go for the real score of that. So can I take a point? Yes. So I cannot recall that. Certain subjects cannot be amended in the constitution except when there is, number one, they require two third majority and also consent of 50% of the states. Yes. Others require only two third majority. Yes. And that is where the rigidity comes. The 50% states, you know, they have to consent to a change. Yes. Our Constitution, our polity is a combination of federalism and unitary, with unitary features. Yes. Name two most important unitary features of the Constitution, of our polity. Sir, uh, in the demarcation of the list, the residuary powers lie with the center. But something else? So, so I think. Yes, thank you. So India is, I mean, so, so the states can be, the boundaries of the states can be made and remade by the uh, parliament without any consultation with the state. So that is a unitary feature. Okay. Are emergency powers a unitary feature? Yes. Sir. It gives overwhelming power to the yes, center. Sir. Yes. Sir. Uh, emergency powers, where do they lie? Article? Article 352, Article 356, and, and Article 360. 360, financial yes. right? Among the three lists also, centers will, will prevail if there is a conflict in concurrent lists. Yes, sir. It can also make laws on a state list with the consent of the Rasa. Yes. And, uh, or if there are two states are willing to. Yes, are willing to. Willing to right? Those are the unitary features. Yes. You know, criminals have been entering politics, and Supreme Court has been trying to bar them from politics. Yes. There was a landmark judgment in 2013. Are you aware of this judgment? Sir, I don't know the exact name of the judgment. Lily Thomas case? Yes, sir. Are you aware of it? Do you know what it did? What was the effect of this verdict? So it banned uh, those politicians who had been convicted uh, of offences with more than two years of punishment from contesting in the elections. No. It barred them immediately. Immediately. Otherwise, the pre previous law permitted them three months time to appeal, etc. So the court said no. That law is in the constitution. They will be barred at once. Some important issue. UP is your uh, choice, first choice. Yes, sir. Why UP? Why not Delhi? Better? So, uh, I have grown up in UP till uh, my school time. And now, then you tell me two most very important issues of UP pending before Supreme Court currently. So, one is the Ayodhya yes, uh, very good, very case, good. the temp dispute case. Uh -huh. Good. So, second.
1100 police encounters. Yes, sir. So I, I was actually not aware whether there is a case or whether the Supreme Court had proactively said. So I did not mention. There is a theory. Supreme Court has sent a notice to the UP government. Yes. NDA has launched a number of major schemes. Name two schemes which you consider have been successful. Welfare schemes, you know. Yes. Flagship programs. Two schemes. Think very carefully and then answer. So, one I would say is the Ujwala scheme. Excellent, Ujwala. And sir, so second would be Beti Bacho, Beti Padhao, because it has, well, we have seen remarkable yes. improvement. It is quite good, but financial inclusion schemes have yes. done much better. Now, what was your subject in MA literature? Sir, English literature, hmm. I... So, what was the scope? Which uh, period were you required to study? Essay, romantic? So, all of it, sir. All of it. So, we started... Uh, Who was your favorite uh, author? So, I have many, but if I had to name one, I would say Virginia Woolf. So, she wrote Mrs. Okay. Dalloway. So. That is your favorite? Yes, sir. Okay. Who has uh, written these lines? I'm reading some lines. The snail is on the thorn. Lord is in his heaven. All is right with the world. All right, I will start from the beginning and then it will be. The season is at the spring. The day is at the morn. The morning is at seven. The dew is, the, the leaf is dew part. Uh, I am not sure, but it seems like Shakespeare. No, no. no. <laughs> Robert Browning. Yes. Pippa's song, famous word. And who has written this? I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high over hills and vales, when all at, at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Sir, William Burns Watson. What's the name of the film? Daffodils. All right, we close the interview. I'll give you a little feedback. Your interview is on 15th of March, so you have almost a month. By and large, you have been able to handle it nicely in this interview. There are certain areas where I wish say that you should strengthen your knowledge. Yes, uh, but since English literature happens to dominate your lab, yes, BA, MA, then also you took it as a. Yeah. So I uh, just uh, uh, some important poets and some important writers just. Brush up your knowledge, eh? yes, which you should be able to do in 10 15 days. Yes, Secondly, you are from Delhi, so get your lot of data on Delhi. For instance, what is the relationship between the Lieutenant Governor and Delhi administration? 239AA article of the Constitution. Yes, sir. Then two Supreme Court judgments of the same relationship. Two Supreme Court judgments. One came last year, one came recently. Yes, a few sir. Days. Read of those. Huh? Yes. Then uh, pollution is a very serious problem. What has been done to correct up pollution in Delhi? Mm. Yes. And in this, I'll give you a little. Uh, this, I can give you a little help about this. You can take a look and leave it outside. Yes. And this will give you some of the judgments, important landmark judgments of the NGT. Mm. Yes. Sir, so, uh, can I take a picture of it? Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, whatever you like. Then, uh, uh, like Delhi, save Delhi for women. What is being done? You were asked a number of questions on, on Nirbhaya, post Nirbhaya, etc. Yes. There can be a question what happened to the Nirbhaya fund? fund? Yes. Then, what is uh, the situation? Has the situation about women's safety improved or not? Now, this you will get from NCRB, National Crime Record Bureau. The last report is of 2016 which says most of the crime against women remains <clears throat> either under investigation or conviction rate is very poor. So you can quote those figures. Huh? Yes. Similarly about children, 
like you, you were saying about pox, pox words. Yes. So that also you will get from NCR. So this pe aap zaroor dekh lijiye. Literature to hai aapka bahut zaroor hai, na? Yes, sir. Then uh, you must know some important uh, principles, constitutional principles, like basic structure. Our our rigid constitution is rigid of flexible unitary or federal. Yes. Then a few important judgments like Nenka Gandhi judgment, Lee Thomas judgment, etc. Good governance का आप जरा concept देख लीजिए अच्छा ना? Yes. Then lastly some questions about UP. I have asked you only two, but supposing they want to ask a little more about UP. You live in Noida. You live in Gandhi Nagar. No sir. Gandhi Nagar. No sir, I live in Delhi currently. अच्छा अच्छा. I did my schooling till twelfth time was in. All right, all right, all right. I missed it. I missed it something. So these are the and lastly, your extracurricular activities. Like you say, police, martial arts. Yes. Now they can ask you, what are these arts? What is their practical utility? Whether it should be promoted or not promoted? So you should be able to hold your ground and say yes. Why? Yes. Why it is useful? You see, these things are, and then writing, playing, painting, etc. All this become a subjects for uh, opticians. Yes. For instance, painters. Who are the best painters in India? Name some painters. Are you fond of landscape or portrait or cubism or you know yes, whatever art you you fond of? So on that you should know some authorities. Yes. Sitna aap karenge aur current affairs pe dhyan rakhiye. Sitna aap kariye to kafi acha ho jayega aur you can come back after ten fifteen minutes. I mean, thoda sa gap hai aapki baat. Yes. डोंट फर्गेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड प्रेस दी बेल आईकन टू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट